course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader. The Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone, the never ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone, and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, AKA a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Hey everybody, this is Fuzzy from His and Her Play, back again with a brand new adventure. Today we are playing, as you saw from the prologue, or the intro, Mutants. Year Zero, Road to Eden. I think it's Road to Eden. Yeah, Road to Eden. Um, this game came out in 2018, I think. And um, I just remember seeing a quick, like, teaser trailer I forget exactly what they're called um, but it wasn't like a gameplay trailer <clears throat> so I had no idea what type of game this was Two but goals. I oh. see him. what are those rot heads up to wait they're planning to ambush the elevator we've got to stop them let's sneak around and see if there's others so I actually did record a whole episode before this but realized that was kind of the tutorial level so you kind of got the it kind of kept telling us what to do uh basically from the intro we're stalkers uh ducks and borman and those guys are bad guys so we gotta kind of sneak around oh you kind of saw the dome of light i can crouch down and these are two there's a hunter level six and a or sorry level one hunter and a level one butcher six hit points for the hunter four hit points for the butcher Ooh. I have some unexpended skill points. Um, no, and yes. Sorry. Oh, wrong button. I was playing this on the Switch earlier, trying to get used to it, but the Switch the switch button layouts are actually completely opposite from this. Um, so being mutants, we get different abilities. Uh, Ducks gets a flying ability, allows us to fly. Ducks automatically gets um, better accuracy from higher elevations so when he's on top of stuff he gets a much better elevation or uh, much better accuracy and greater chance we're actually going to boost up his health too a little bit um 
Yeah, health plus one, movement 12, armor zero, throwing 10. Borman has movement, health eight, movement 12, armor zero, throwing not, uh, 10. Uh, my weapons aren't that good right now. Ducks actually is really good and it's silent, which will come into play later. But, oh. Let's get out of this and let's actually get into this game because this is a really fun game that I wish got a little bit more recognition than I think it did. So, got ourselves a Molotov cocktail. And there's something else over there. What is that? Is that scrap? Oh, pick up notes. Let's see. Mm. Oh, valuable scrap. There we go. Come on, let it be something good. Ooh, we got ourselves a special chest. Ah, so this is just a hat. It's not cosmetic though, because we can see that it adds 20% added to weapon range. So your weapon can shoot a little bit farther. So let's see, who will... Borman's weapon has a range of 8, Ducks has a range of 10. I think for right now we're going to... Oh, I apologize, I hit the wrong button again. Oh, you know what? Borman's does have the range disadvantage, so now with the hat he's got a range 10. So now both of them have a range of 10, that's pretty good. Um, all right. Let's see, now we know there's two stalkers over here, there's two bad guys over here. Oh, and a third one. A Marauder. Level 1, 4 hit points, nothing too bad. Now, as long as we don't get seen by him, we're pretty good. Uh, let's be strategic about this thing. Get up here and see if uh, Ducks can't get a good shot on him with the silenced weapon quickly. Because if Ducks can get a shot on him quickly, we're pretty good. Come on, Ducks. Uh, ambush. Let's see if we got a good shot on him. Because if I can pick him off, that means... Yes! So, the way the battle system works in this is that you have two um, action tokens, basically. That could be used for movement. Uh, two movements would cost you both of them, but it's called a sprint. Uh, you can use one of your movement. You can use a movement and a weapon fire. Weapon fire automatically ends your turn, though. Uh, throwing a grenade, you get your little dome of effect. Right now I have a smoke grenade, so all it does is affect visibility. Uh, Overwatch basically means my character will take cover and any enemy moving, not taking aim or anything, but moving or coming into range will be fired upon automatically. Uh, digging, digging down, dig down, uh, basically puts you in a defensive position. It, you're 25% harder to hit and you avoid status effects as usual but it skips your turn these are your special effects so right now um guaranteed to shoot guaranteed the shooting unit to be critically damaged but lowers your chances of hit but my chances of hitting are a hundred percent because i'm elevated basically because i had a hundred percent chance of hitting this lowered it but because i got elevated it went up so we're just gonna do that and forget about it let's just do it but using it, I have to either end the battle or kill enough men to recharge, kill enough enemies to recharge. So let's see how this turns out. Oh, so good. I hope that audio hiccup didn't come up, come through the recording, because that would suck. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. I forgot about achievements. Oh, that's right, because we're under the his and her play account on this thing. So, we killed the enemy, and he dropped us some useful items. But we still have those other two guys over there that we want, that we need to take out. Broken weapon gives us um, weapon parts to upgrade our weapons. And scrap, it basically used as currency. Go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Mutants in the Ark. Come on, come on. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all! Foxy's coming. We kill them all. <laughs> Not very nice people, are they? 
All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually, knowing that boar, uh, ducks can definitely kill one of these guys straight out right, which means probably aim for the butcher. Borman's gonna run up to the hunter and blast him in the face. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay, so see here, I only have a 75% chance of hitting and a 20% chance of hitting crit. So let's check out the movement. So the more I move, the better chance I have of hitting. And you can see these shields that pop up. That means I'll be under somewhat cover. So we're gonna move here with ducks. It's still gonna alert both of them, but I'm not too, too worried about it in this one because it's basically your first real battle. And this will take out this guy, no problem. Like I said, no problem. Now Borman's gonna run in and Borman's gonna run in and I'm basically gonna get right up in this guy's face and hopefully kill him. If I don't, he's gonna try to run and um, return fire. I have a 15% chance of killing this guy in one shot. Let's see what happens. Ooh, he lived. That's not good. Well, now it's the enemy's turn to play. Oh, he's gonna go after ducks. Oh, and because I didn't know about that guy, he called in for backup. That kind of stinks. All right, well, we're going to send Borman up here to deal with this guy. And that one's dead. That's awesome. But we have that one guy in Overwatch, which is still making me nervous. Oh, right. Ducks needs to... Ducks' weapon can only shoot once. And then you have to reload. Reloading takes an action. Overwatch. So I'm going to put him in Overwatch now and try to force this guy to move closer. If he gets within Ducks' range... Duck will take a pop shot at him. I don't want ducks anywhere really near this guy because I'm a oh, Overwatch. Because I'm afraid this guy could actually prop really. Oh, but he missed me. So we're. Uh, can I? I got a 50% chance of hitting him. That's really not good. But I can use Borman's special ability. Which gives me more movement points, which will get me to 75. That's a chance I'm willing to take. I'm in low cover, and let's see if this hits. Don't mess with me. Oh, that hit. And that's the battle. And now we reap oh, the rewards, here. the rewards of battle that we won. Being this close to the arc. Link. Inside the elevator. 20% so added to weapon range. That's good. That's something I'd like to put on ducks because ducks, duck is basically your sniper where Borman is your, your tank, and that's basically how I build these guys, these two guys out. Ducks being the sniper, taking the high ground and sniping out people and making everyone's day miserable, at least for all the other enemies. And Borman gets up in everyone's face and smashes, smash and smash. So. Let's quickly, before we go up, loot the area. I will be right back when I'm done with that, because I don't want to... It, it can get a little tedious, but hey. Ooh. Stalker Vest. Found often through the zone. Da, da, da. Armor Class 1, HP 2. Right now, I'm going to give that to Ducks, because I think Ducks could definitely benefit from it more. Ooh, Borman. Uh... Eh, why not? We're going to up his... Uh, let's see, I wanted to give it to Ducks, because Ducks... Borman has 8 plus 1. Ducks has 6 plus 1, so let's give him the armor. And you guys you see it on the character, which is kind of cool. But um, I'm going to finish looting this area, and I'll be right back when we go up to the Ark. <laughs> 